All right, we're back. Took it out, went to the range. Nice little Rock Island Arms, Baby Rock 380. Basically just like your full size 1911. The only real difference is the fact that it's about 65% the size of a full size and the weight. And it has this external extractor that Smith & Wesson is so proud of. Frankly, I like the internal one, but if it works, it works. And this one does work. Took this little pistol out, fired a couple magazines on camera, fired a bunch more through it, got a little over 100 rounds through it. And I can tell you, for an itty-bitty 1911, this thing is fun. And not only that, it is very functional. It worked fine. The only real issue that I experienced on the range was the failure to lock back on the last round. I don't know why exactly that's occurring unless it's just a magazine follower issue. You can take this little weapon, empty gun, put the magazine in it, Operate the slide, locks back just fine. Just won't do it on the range. That tells me it's more than likely the magazine. Now they come one to a box from the factory with these little Medcore mags. I don't know if you can see that if it'll focus. It's just a personal thing. I've never liked Medcore mags. So I'm going to go out there and hunt around a little bit, see if I can't find an aftermarket or something else that works a little better in that respect for that issue. But I can say this for that magazine. Stainless steel, it's got a good strong spring. Those magazine walls are really lined up good. You put the rounds down all the way, load it up full, they come right back up. There's no sticky spots. There's no pressure points. They stack in there and they stay in there all the way to the last round. So other than that, one issue, it's a good magazine. And if you don't mind the weapon not locking back on the last one, that's fine. And really, this weapon has one purpose. This is not my primary carry weapon. My full-size 1911s have that responsibility. And if I have to drag this out, rest assured, when I do, I've exhausted all of my other means of self-defense with a weapon. I'm going to call this my little Jesus gun. Because when it comes out, the only thing between the bad guy and Jesus is this. So I'm not really worried about whether or not it locks back on the last round. Because if it don't, I'm probably not going to have time for putting another magazine in, period. Now I fired, like I said, over 100 rounds. Of all those rounds, I did not experience one malfunction for feeding, for loading, for firing, extracting, or ejecting. It ran like a top and did its job just the way a government model should. Nice little gun. The sights, yeah, there's no white dots, there's no green light for nighttime, but who needs it? This thing has a purpose, and it usually happens up close and personal. But they are there, they line up real good they're well regulated the gun shoots where you point it now some people i mentioned in the other video had an issue with the front sight jumping off and as i explained in that one i took preventive maintenance on that and so well over 100 rounds the sight's still there and that screw ain't moved and now there's the sight so it's a good little gun you can pick those up for just a little over 400 dollars I got mine at a local shop here, Mustang Pawn and Gun, here in Mustang, Oklahoma. If you're in the area, stop by and see them. They'll get you a good deal. Tell them I sent you. Ask for Jeff or Leroy. And if Randy's there, talk to him. He's a very knowledgeable man. He's owned that business for decades, and he knows his stuff, and he's great people. Other than that, I can't think of anything else to say unless it would all be good, because it is good. 
So if you want a little 1911, you can stick in your pocket or in a small belt holster in your pants and forget that it's there almost. Pick you one of these up. Take the right steps before you go to the range. Just don't buy it and then grab three box of bullets and go out and start banging away. You're just inviting problems in. Do it right. Take it home, go through it, disassemble it, look it over. Make sure it's ready to go to the range. And if you've got, I'm pretty sure it's about a one millimeter hex head wrench, take the time to pull that screw, clean those threads, put some Loctite in there and run her back down and give her a data set. You will never lose your front sight. Anyway, y'all have a great day. Go see him. Remember, the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. A big one and maybe a little one. Bye.